these Toronto Blue Jays top hitting prospects are doing something very special right now and it is grabbing the attention from Blue Jay fans across the country and with the current Toronto Blue Jays lacking power and run production it begs the question is it time for this Toronto Blue Jays front office to make a big change what's up guys and welcome back to Blue Jays today and today guys we've got to be talking about these rising stars in the Toronto Blue Jays system and if and when are they going to get the call at the big league level before we get into it guys make sure to hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you enjoy Blue Jays news and content all right guys let's get into the video Blue Jays number two ranked prospect Aurelvis Martinez is taking the world by storm after he just hit his sixth home run in his last seven games and in 18 games total this season for the Bisons he is batting 333 with an OPS of 1.073 not only that but Blue Jays number six ranked prospect Addison Barsher and friend of this show He's been killing it right now as well. Barger has a batting average of 314 and an OPS of 1.021 while also driving in 21 runs. Now that is something very special happening at the AAA level and when you look up at the Blue Jays Major League team, well they're not doing a lot of driving in runs or hitting for a lot of power. This season, the Blue Jays are currently ranked 21st in baseball in runs per game and they're only 18th in slugging percentage as well. So just looking at what the AAA boys are doing and what the Blue Jays are doing, it seems pretty obvious. Well, just call up those guys. That will help boost those numbers at the big league level. But of course, it's not that easy. Here's the problem, and it's a good problem that the Blue Jays are facing right now. There's a bit of a log jam happening on the Major League roster right now. Looking at the position that Aurelvis Martinez plays, this season so far, he's only been playing second base and DH. He in the past has played shortstop and third, but it seems like the Bisons are going in a different direction and just playing them at second base and taking a look at the Toronto Blue Jays second base position you've got Kevin Biggio and David Schneider that are doing very well currently to start the year and looking at Addison Barger while well, he plays third base in right field and looking at third base you've got Isaiah kinder Falefa who you just signed to a two-year deal he's been splitting time with Ernie Clement who has been doing very well defensively and offensively this year and then of course in right field you've got the 25 million dollar man George Springer taking up that spot and when I say it's a good problem, it's good because, well, the guys that you're looking to replace to give Addison Barger and Aurelvis Martinez a chance, well, those guys have been doing very well. And yes, you can make an argument, well, George Springer hasn't been that good, but you're not going to simply bench or cut George Springer. You're paying him too much money, and you know how good he can be for this team in the past. And the thought of moving anyone over to DH, well, that's Justin Turner, and that's just simply not going to happen. So as of right now on this Blue Jay team, there's no real need to demote anybody yet. Time for a quick shout out to Betway. Betway is the best place to make all of your sports bets on all of your favorite teams. Betway is also in collaboration with iGaming Ontario. Must be 19 years older to participate. And guys, please bet responsibly. Now, back to the content. Right now, the only way a spot opens up for Martinez or Barger is if somebody gets hurt, which would be very unfortunate, or somebody underperforms mightily later in the season. And I say later in the season because it's still April, guys. We have to let this season play its course and I think the Blue Jays management is going to let it happen as well. We have to find out what kind of players are Kevin Biggio, David Schneider, Ernie Clement, and IKF going to be this year for the Toronto Blue Jays. It's too early to be making any decisions, no matter how hot these minor league players have been playing. And speaking of minor league players, the same thing goes for Martinez and Barger. Will they continue to stay hot throughout the course of a season? And believe me, I know the thought of bringing up new, exciting talent to this Blue Jays team, especially offensively, can be very tantalizing. But it's a bit too early to be making any of these big decisions. However, if they continue to play hot, really really hot i think they'll force their way on the roster one way or another but guys you let me know your thoughts in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and as always guys go jays go